everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's been staying safe and healthy today i went dumpster diving and i had a pretty interesting experience so i thought i would share it with you guys you guys always like to see some of these crazy experiences that i have so if you guys want to see that please keep watching don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i've been posting on both of those platforms i post some different things than i do on youtube if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and also leave a comment. What is your favorite place to dumpster dive at? If you do dumpster dive, what is it? Hey guys, I'm at Ulta and this one is locked, but you can kind of climb over the top. I see a couple of boxes and it looks like nothing got destroyed. I think I see two of them, so I'm gonna grab these. This might be a really good score. Excuse me? You can't go in these dumpsters. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just got caught. <laughs> um, honestly, she looked like she, she was coming back for something, like she was driving through the back. So maybe she's the one that's gonna grab the box, but oh, I'm so mad. It actually looked like undestroyed stuff. So I might come back, but obviously I'm gonna have to wait for a while because she was there what i kind of left it on top of the dumpster because i thought it was security so i did not throw it back in but yeah i got caught that sucks okay guys i'm going back she might still be there but honestly that is just so shady that she's coming back after she's either started or like about to start or she already got off why would she be going back to the dumpster I don't get that. So there's someone else dumpster diving actually. Um, hopefully they haven't hit Ulta. But I would love to see if she's actually stealing or not. Okay guys, I found a couple of girls that are down to go with me. So we're gonna go check it out. And I'm kind of nervous because of the manager. So let's see what happens if they come out or not. Okay, <laughs> we found a bunch of stuff that she totally took it. She did. Wow. Yeah, she's stealing. Say hi. hi. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice I just wanted to you. show. That's so okay, guys. Just to kind of bring you up to what happened, if you guys weren't aware, what happened was I was at an Ulta, and as you can see, I found this really cool box full of like brand new products, really cool, undestroyed, not touched at all, and then. I had an Ulta manager, she came and she came in a car, I guess she just got off work and she came behind the dumpsters and she told me that I can't dumpster dive there which at the moment I was just like okay I'm leaving because it does have a lock on it so I'm not supposed to be there in the first place which I understand, that is my bad. but. She must have taken the box. When I came back, the box was gone and it was not even five minutes later. She just must have grabbed the box and left with it. So I'm guessing that she's the one that threw that box away. Hey guys, I am really disgusted once again. I am at PetSmart. They did their fish deliveries today and surprise, surprise, look what I found. You can see those guys, they're perfectly fine. They're swimming, they're fine. There is one dead one in here. Sadly, I cannot keep goldfish in the tank that I have because I have a tropical community. So I will definitely be finding somewhere to take these guys. Hey guys, I got the fish in the box and I was so close to going up to the pets, pet smart and confronting them, but I just decided it's not the smart thing to do, especially because they might end up throwing them away again. But on my way to go take my goldfish to donate, I found another fish. This one is one that I can definitely take. It's an angelfish. It will be okay in my tropical tank. There's another bag. Let's just double check this. I think these guys might all be dead, sadly. I'm dropping the goldfish off at a foster. I drove to somebody's house 
through the rescue and I'm dropping them off now. Hey guys, the goldfish are at the foster. They have their home now and they're safe. And I did get my angel fish. He's in here. He's alive. Hey guys, I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond and I don't know if you can see all of this, but I already have so many things already. So I have to get these in the car, but they're, there's like someone watching me. My car is kind of full. This is mine. So I did not find this today, but I did find it a different day. But yeah, there's people sitting here watching me, just like they had their brights on me and they weren't saying anything, but definitely weird. Like this is broken, which that sucks. It was like a bowl for a spoon or a spatula. I don't know what this is, but I think it's a... Oh, it's like for foam, like milk and such. There's this, and this looks like they probably didn't even spray it too good. But... Okay. There is, let's see, I actually need one of these really bad. It's a shower liner. How cool is that? It does have a little bit of paint, but that's not that bad. Okay guys, this is my Bed Bath & Beyond haul. I got a pretty good score. A lot of things are in the box and it's not too terribly spray painted either, which is nice. But I got this water pick, Sonic Fusion. So let's open this up. Okay, so here's the Sonic water pick Fusion. And this part is pretty bad. It does need some good cleaning and spray cleaning or <laughs> nail polish remover. But there's a case and it does have a toothbrush. Here's the actual tool. And then I'm guessing this is another case where it connects to the top. So this one is pretty cool. I found this. It's like a 10 inch LED selfie ring light. And this one, it just needs some, again, some spray paint cleanup. But looks like this. I'm going to plug it in and give it a shot, see if it turns on. Okay, so I plugged it in and it does turn on. It looks really cool and you can change the brightness levels. It has this little thing and it also has like a remote, so that is so cool. Okay, so I also found this skylight, which is really cool. I did test it and I'll show you guys. It does work. It lights up like an entire room, but it has a little bit of spray paint on the back, which can easily be taken off, but that is so cool. I, I tested it. It lights up the whole room. It's really cool and fun. Okay, so plugged in, it does work. It's kind of hard to see during the day, but you can definitely see it. It works, it's really cool. I did test it at night and it looks even better. This is this Shark Ultra Cyclone Pet Pro vacuum. It's like a little handheld vacuum. It looks like this and it has different attachments. And honestly, I have been loving this. I still need to try it in a car, but Definitely on small spaces. You can see it picked up a lot. That's just from like one use. So it does turn on, it works, and this thing is actually really powerful. So I'll show you the attachments it comes with. So it has these different attachments and the charger, but definitely gives you a nice variety of attachments. And this one is really cool. It's great for pets and fur. Now this little sucker is really cool as well. It looks like this and it's like you put some eggs in, it's an egg bite maker. I'll open it up. It does have some spray paint but it does work. Really cool. So it does have plastic wrap and everything and you can see this one is not spray painted that bad but it's almost like a little girl top and then you put these silicone pieces, you put eggs in them and really cool. So that's what this one looks like. Only a little bit of spray paint. And then lastly is this Good Grips Spiralizer. So that is really cool. I actually haven't opened it up. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I see some spray paint. 
Oh wow. Okay, let me take it all out. So what's crazy about this is, is it looks like a lot of it is not even opened. It looks pretty new. They did spray paint it, of course, but I'm going to take it out of the package. It looks like it's never even been used. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I have no idea how to use this. I would definitely have to read the instructions, but it has all kinds of different tools. So this would definitely be a great keeper addition to my kitchen. Okay guys, and then lastly is this Black & Decker Crisp & Bake Conventional Air Fry Oven. And it's not in the box. I actually am using it. I have tested it and it works perfectly fine. There's spray paint on the back side, but you can't even see it. So I'll show you guys that. It's all plugged in. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I have used it so it's a little bit dirty. But when I opened it, it was brand new, no mess, like it's not even been used. But you can see, let me see how to do this. So you can see it does turn on and everything. It heats up, I made some fries, and it worked perfect.